Hello everyone, this is Cam and welcome to another POTP video and today we are covering the midweek competition picture. This is the final video of the midweek competition. So before we get started guys, make sure don't forget to give some thumbs up uh, if you like this video and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Alright, so I've got my man Paul with me today. How's it going Paul? Very well Cam, how are you? Not too bad, not too bad. We also got Father Steve with us. How's it going Father Steve? Yeah, not too bad, gentlemen. How are you? How are you, Paul? Cam? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Good okay, good. you got the news, uh, I mean, you got the result for your missus? Yeah, negative. Oh, Both of us. That's amazing. So, back that's to work great. tomorrow. Very good to know. <laughs> and we also got my man Dean GTR, maybe this year. How's it going? Yeah, not too bad, guys. Not too bad. Hope you all well. Yeah, not okay, too bad. Man. And we also got the average man here. How's it going, Pike? <laughs> You're all right, my guys. <clears throat> yeah, no, okay, okay. And finally, finally, the echo man here. How's it going, Chan? Evening, guys. I hope you're all well. Yeah, I'm all good. How are you? Not? One, two, three, four, five. We're all good then. Okay. All right, brilliant. So uh, everyone uh, submitted their coordinates. So let's start taking coordinates now. First of our coordinate was submitted by Lee, which is 1656, 1084. I mean, to be honest with you, though, I mean, all those um, coordinates that Cam's taken there are a lot closer than I thought they would have been. Yeah. We've got two days average. We've got the average coordinate, guys, which is 1634, 1046. So we went slightly higher than last uh, uh, last live stream. So we were about there. And then we went slightly higher. So not bad. What do you guys think? Oh, yeah, it's, it's a bit slightly higher, you see. Yeah. That's where I'm going chuck my tickets and I'm, my insurance ones my shrapnel ones just for a punt I'm going to chuck them where I said earlier on just two tickets over uh, uh, way out who knows it's worth a punt but like poor guys we've been talking about it for the past hour or so this, indeed, this picture is quite yeah. quite tricky so but like Paul saying, don't just go mad and just put corners yeah. everywhere. Just play a few tickets for your got no. I mean, even if I end up with really good credit from the last dream car, I'm still not going to wait. Do yeah, any more go than mad 10 on. tickets on this. No chance. Yeah, I think that's just why. Just play wise on this picture. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. I mean, like we always say, it's worth a punt, you know, for. Yeah. Uh, 
you've got to be brave if you go more than sort of 30 tickets on this my my last call is that that little poster at the back in the middle on the top line of it if you know what i mean mm. just above where the point is of that where it has mm. inside it mm. See, people are looking at this idea now, look, because if you look at AH with his coordinate there, eyes of the keeper and all four eyes of the players are on the right. You see, this is the, that's what I was saying earlier on about, you know, that post above the red fence there. That white, whatever it is, in the middle of the picture. You can make that work. You can make them all line up. That's why it's going to be really interesting on what the judges say when they come up with their coordinates on it. Yeah. It still doesn't make sense that the, the bloke at the back behind the player that's holding him, his, his eyes aren't even looking in the same direction. Yeah. He's looking left and low, but he's looking up and to the left. That's why I can't get mad around why, unless he's been photoshopped together, but why would you be, you wouldn't hold him down like that if, if he's on your same team. It's just pointless. Because if he's trying to jump, he ain't going to do it, is he? And that's like I say, it's just a training exercise that they're doing. And yeah. Just... yeah. And, uh... Because right, you can't press... see the other team, team name, can you? You've so you don't know what it here, is. Mate. Right, Nazma, Paul, what's your dream thing to win from BOTB? Father Steve, what's your dream thing to win on BOTB? Pike, what's your dream thing to win? on BLTB well my mine initially is on it, this is how I would love it to work win the transit and 10k on midweek and then win the Litchfield GTR plus 50k plus 20k on dream car that's how that would be the perfect uh, win for me in that order as well Steve uh my mood week could be anything that I could use on a daily basis. And I and I'd keep whatever car I win day uh, midweek or dream car I would keep. So I don't always go like for the Auris or anything like that. It's always a car that's not I mean like as I on the Dream Car this year, I went for the M forty I, the SQ five and the R S three. So they're not top of range cars as such, so I can still use it. But I don't yeah. really, I don't go anything for anything flash. Well, I, did, I did do the Winnebago for a laugh, but then I, I just took the money. But I mean, if, it, if it's supercar, then I'd go for the money. But I, I always choose a car that I could use on a daily basis. Yeah. If they yeah. weren't doing the, the the plus 50k, I would I would definitely go for the cash alternative on dream car. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Pike? I mean, oh. On the mid on the midweek, I'll go for the uh, M440. Plus the twenty grand. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's is it twenty grand now. Or is it, it's still ten. ten. Yeah. Yeah, the ten grand. I'll I'll I'll, uh, I'll probably just take the cash for the midweek. And um, then for, for the dream, dream car, card. Yeah, for for the dream car, I'll go for the RS six plus the fifty uh, fifty grand. Keep the car for a year and sell it. Hmm. Yeah, and get and get like um. I don't know, like a BMW um, um, M, M, um, M40i, uh, the, the, uh, yeah. the, the, you oh, know, the X3, you know, you see the X3. Yeah, that's yeah. what I've gone for. This is as well, she puts a lot of extra stuff in. <laughs> Three bags for her, one for you. You know, she's, you know, <laughs> A bag is is always uh, it's always got everything. If you know, just, you name it. If you want a nail file, if you if you want a pair of scissors, if you want some ketchup, you probably find it in a handbag. <laughs> <laughs> Mini suitcase. <laughs> what about you, Dean? Well, <laughs> uh, but someone asked a question on how you'd love to win. Um, or what your best way of winning BOTB, or you know how you'd like oh, yeah, to win it. Probably. Obviously, it would be mid midweek cars that I go for. Usual suspect: Mustang, the M2, BMW, uh, the A45, uh, dream car. It would be. I always go for the Nissan GTR, Litchfield, or the Ricardo, or the Audi RS6, or the 
the C63 or the BMW M5 and then obviously the um, life goal, I always go for 15 grand. This is it for tonight guys, if you like this video give us some thumbs up if you can and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. So fingers crossed for tomorrow guys and I'll see you on the next video.